this is a test. How does the audio sound with the new microphone? Hello. Buttery. All right. Now for the real shit. How does the controller sound? How does the game sound? How does it all sound together? Are you getting feedback from the speakers into the mic? Game sounds fine. Can't hear the controller. Game sounds good. Try fighting a boss though. That'll be the real test. This is so good. I'm so much more comfortable this way. The headset was too tight on my ears. This microphone is making things so good. Yes. Um, I have the game loud enough for me to hear it, but hopefully not too loud. The microphone is a cardioid mic, so it should only be picking up here. Yeah, hardware update, some peripherals. Um, I got my microphone in, and I got my click clacky keyboard in. Now I'm waiting on capture card, graphics card, SSD, RAM, and I'm waiting on something else. Mouse. And I think just like an HDMI splitter or something, or an HDMI, uh, like an HDMI to mini HDMI. Once that's all done, I'll be able to play on any console, on any PC. I'll be able to play on anything I want to. It's going to be gorgeous. Yeah, I, um, actually, my solution to that was, since you can't have two inputs into one output without getting, like, an expensive graphics card that has two inputs in it, I got two really cheap graphics cards. Uh, not graphics cards, capture cards. I got two really cheap capture cards. One of them is going to be the camera link I have um, up there behind my webcam. Cyberpunk from the Switch. Yeah, right. The Switch would burn. Um, yeah, I have a DSLR up there that I'm going to be using for webcam. And the other capture card will be able to pick up from console. Um... Honestly, God bless Chinese knockoff tech. Like, these little $20 capture cards are apparently just really good, and they're 20 bucks. I got one for 10, because it was half off on Amazon. It's two capture cards for $30. If you want to stream, that's how you do it. Anywho, uh, last time, we beat Owl. We beat Owl, my favorite character. Um, if you were worried about missing Owl, don't worry. The best Owl fight is yet to come. But we're making progress. I'm glad you've come, Master Wolf. I don't have any gourd seeds. Master Wolf, it looks as if your brow is less furrowed than before. If only a little. If only a little. Hmm. Please. See that Lord Kuro's wish to sever immortality is met. Hey, K Kamara is picking it up in the uh, goodbye in the Discord. They should be coming through. This is very exciting. Is this a better time on Sunday? I am relieved to see that you for everybody. Safe. Sunday usually struggles. I killed him. I am sorry. Um, Kuro. I am we can sorry. deal with that later. We can talk about scheduling in the Discord. Wolf. We don't Thank have to you. do that live on the screen. We're here to play sex. This was in his possession. This branch. It's from the Ever Blossom tree. I see. So I'll That I stream when I say I'm going live. Lady yeah. Spoke of it once. Not a century the after Ever I say I'm going live. <laughs> tree that was brought I'm sorry. The divine realm. I thought I was doing a nice thing. But I realize now that I was the fool. However, when a branch was cut off, and the flowers take it's okay. The ever blossom eventually dry. It's okay now. Away. So this is that branch? Yes. Um, in an ironic twist. We are a step closer to the fountain. I'm incense. just ignoring all this yes. dialogue. I'm sorry. Yes, that's right, Wolf. That is okay. You do what you need to do. But I thought it was funny today 
after a week of of essentially blizzards in Texas, um, the temperature has gone all the way up to above 70 degrees Fahrenheit again. So I'm dressed as summery as I can. Baja California, baby! <laughs> I thought it was funny. We went out and had a picnic today, oh, and it was honestly too hot. Oh, yeah. Can you even believe it? I have something for you, Lord Kuro. Something for me? Here. Rice for Kuro. This? It's rice. Yes. Thank you, Nightbot. The divine child of Sempo Temple told me to give this to you. She did? Then I am grateful. This looks like good rice. <laughs> Each grain glistens. He's so it cute. It is sweet when you bite into it. Bite? Wolf, rice tastes a lot better when cooked. My lord. Hmm. So do you like sweet things? <laughs> I will eat anything. Yeah, this so confirms don't that Wolf things. has right. been eating the rice oh, raw nice this whole time. Something nice. And Kuro's like... <laughs> You'll have to wait and see. You can cook rice. You can cook it. It's very funny. <laughs> Wolf is a himbo, confirmed. You so, wrong. I wish I was. <laughs> so, as far as the numbered part part eight that's a guess honestly because um i did an impromptu stream where i played sekiro somewhere just like random real random hours shut up duolingo <laughs> Gotcha. I think I have a plan. I think this is the this is the fateful decision where I have to start eavesdropping on people a bunch of times. So that I can um Make something nice. <laughs> One part of the fountainhead is a white flower that. Yes, my lord. The sunken valley. There's a shrine. As the name implies, there's no proper path down there. My lord. This is a document written by one who. I see. It says there's a fragrance, but I've never. Mm. Mm. Huh. Is that. My lord, this stone. Yes. Yes. A sweetly scented, sweetly bridal, scented offering bridal offering written on the altar. Hmm. Sort of it was in a cave beyond a door made of. Hmm. In that case, no way to know. Sweetly scented. Hmm? Lord Kuro. Hmm. That place is the gateway to the divine realm. Meaning that is what it might be referred. One part of it is a white. Yeah. That there's as the name. There's no. You're leaving, Wolf. My lord. Okay. Okay. We're gonna talk to people. We're gonna run around. We're gonna do the whole I'm thing. I'm glad. Master, it will please. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. Rest. Travel. I'm just gonna go. Oh, forgive me. We're just gonna go see our old friends. To see all of our old friends. And eavesdrop on them. Because that's what you do with friends, right? You drop eaves. Got nothing to say. Alright. Now we're going to visit the Divine Child.
Shinobi, you are what? This is for you. What is this? I found a note saying I should give this to you. Thank you. I will accept it. <laughs> What's wrong? I, I still cannot help but detest them. Oof. I apologize. Right, I should. Farewell, should may the harvest be plentiful where Okay. I gave the divine heir the text. That's important. Shinel, you are well. Farewell, may the harp. Now I need to go eavesdrop on Kuro again? I know, this is all very silly, but I promise the extra bosses are worth it. Worth it. Worth it. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. What's up, baby? <laughs> Come now. Hold out your hand. My lord. Sweet rice ball. What is? Sweet sticky rice balls. I made them with the rice from the divine child. Eat it. Don't be shy. Eat it. Don't be shy. Take the plunge. You won't die. It's a sweet sticky. Eat it. You're leaving, wolf. My lord. Okay. Now we eavesdrop again. <laughs> Too shy. Well, that's fine. Hard to make them much better than this. <laughs> well done, Kuro. That's so cute. Congratulating himself. It's a sweet to eat it. You're leaving, Wolf. My lord. How's everyone doing today? While we take care of some chores. The action picks up, I promise. I promise, I promise. I wolf, I'm sure this is the What is it? The blood of the divine heir. The blood of the divine heir of the dragon's heritage. heritage. In other words, in other words, my blood. My blood. Your blood, but my lord. You cannot bleed. You cannot yes. bleed. It is true that those, it is true that those of the dragon's heritage cannot, cannot bleed. bleed. However, However, in Lord Genichio's quarters, I found a curious journal belonging to Lord Takeru's page. Takeru. Takeru. Sorry, uh, everyone who's Japanese. For, me to bleed. for now, I'd like to ask you to keep this for me. Page's diary. Lord Takeru held his arm over the incense burner and attempted to cut it with a sword, but incredibly his wound healed instantly and did not drop a, and not a drop of blood was shed. Lady Tomoe said, without it, your blood cannot be spilled. What could she be referring to, I wonder? Now then, we just need to figure out how to make me bleed. That's what this Perhaps game's all about, baby. Yeah. We should just be asking how to make a little boy As bleed. A doctor, she should have much knowledge of the human body. Yes, she may... I will ask her. There is something I'd like to ask. Yes, what is it? Can the divine heir be made to bleed? Why would you seek to do so? The blood That's a good the question, Emma. <laughs> to obtain the dragon tears from the divine realm and achieve immortal severance. Oh, I see. It is true that the if divine heir something real bad, he'll bleed? However, you currently oh, possess Oh, I think I get what you so. mean. The mortal blade. Yes, here you are. Immortal Severance Scrap. With mortal blade in hand, my blood may be shed. With my blood, the aroma will be complete. The divine realm will be in reach. Immortal Severance will be at hand. I must ask Tomoe to assist with the beheading. This was written by Lord Takeru? It was. With the mortal blade, you may wound the divine heir. And I was thinking like a little like a little cut on the arm. I see. But a this beheading one step closer to a mortal severance. I shall tell my lord. Of course. 
That's absolutely devastating. My lord, I've procured the flower I've for the procured the flower aroma. Oh? For the fountainhead Was aroma. it truly blooming in the sunken valley? Yes. Deep within the valley. Deep within the so valley. So that is where the fountainhead waters pool deeply. You've done well to acquire this wolf. Thank you. Wolf. That sword on your back. Is it? It is the mortal blade. I'm doing a lot of catching up. I should have been coming to talk to him more frequently. <laughs> yes. It was given to me by the divine child of the rejuvenating waters at Sempo Temple. The divine child of the rejuvenating waters? The monks at Sempo Temple abandoned the ways of their faith in pursuit of immortality. The result is those who have false dragon's heritage, known as the divine children of the rejuvenating waters. A false dragon's heritage. I never would have thought. I never would have thought. Wait, divine children? Yes. Many were created, but only one survived. Only one survived. Further proof of the corruption this power brings to man. The ties of immortality must be severed. Yes, my lord. Institutional power must be severed. Wolf, did you speak with Lady Emma? I did. And? What did she say? That it could be possible with the mortal blade. I see. So the mortal blade will allow my blood to flow. As you wish. This should be all of the necessary ingredients for the aroma. Wolf, burn the incense. As you wish. I'll do it in a second. First, I'm going to open this beverage that my partner has so kindly gifted to me as it was a gift uh, to her from someone else. Tonight we're drinking um, hard kombucha. Berry flavored with raspberry, elderberry, and goji. It is a nice looking beverage, I'll tell you how it tastes. <sighs> That's pretty damn tasty. <laughs> Some kind of a person who drinks kombucha? Yes. I'm glad you asked. There's an epidemic facing our society. People who drink kombucha. Do what must be done. Hmm. Yeah, I was a bit of a debate bro in college. A bit of a chud, as you might say. Um, I had an ex-girlfriend who who moved to um, Austin, Texas, where I currently live. And she went vegetarian. She started drinking kombucha. She did the whole thing and I was, I was so mad. <laughs> For no reason. Absolutely no reason. I realize this now. And now, uh, all these years later, here we are. I'm a fucking pinko kami who drinks kombucha and uh, just wants to grow potatoes on a little farm. who I've become. All right, I need to acquire things before I go to the Fountainhead Palace. Got it. Sculptor. Mm. Uh, no. I don't need your concern. Where's Emma? This is the thing. This is the thing with From Software side quests. One of the main characters drinks kombucha instead of beer because he's not of legal drinking age. Interesting. Most of the kombucha that I have had in my time has not been alcoholic, even though it's fermented. I must do what must be done. Mm -hmm. That is what the divine heir said. He must be hiding something. I see. But it, I mean, is it is a fermented beverage. Lord I bet you could really easily make it of alcoholic. Yes. Perhaps the act of beheading was the means to end immortality, along with the life of the divine. Heir. I'm not going to what? on this playthrough. <laughs> 
Then you must use the mortal blade. And my lord's life. Yes. Lord Kuro desires immortal severance. There are three endings. That. Three I good that. endings. And yet, three immortal severance Master endings. Wolf, might there be a path where Lord Kuro need not lose his life? The dragon's heritage is no ordinary If you don't power, seek out could the hard answers power. and you just well, do Master the easy Wolf, thing that Lord Kuro asks you to you do, help me find such then a at the end of the game, you behead him, need not sever die. immortality, and and move on. That's the end of the game. If you try to find a way to save him and you don't work with the Divine Child, then you can sever immortality by killing yourself, but Kuro lives. And then, if you work with the Divine Child to get the hardest ending, you can sever immortality by allowing the dragon to be reborn in the Divine Child and traveling west. Which I think means nobody technically dies because either Wolf or Kuro is reincarnated. So I'm gonna try really hard not to behead Kuro this time. I will not let my lord die. Thank you. We must find a starting point. Yes. <sighs> because I oh. love him. Yes. Lady Tomoys. Master Wolf. I might have a place to start. I'll look into it and let you know as soon as I find something. Okay, okay. thank you for the follow. When they want to. Yeah, I guess you must have. From the divine air. Yes. Welcome back. Nice to see you. Master Wolf, I'll look into it and let you know as Thank you. Also, we may I'll keep this. Yes. Lord Krama, he could let us all. Goodbye. That puts me at 26, baby. I'm more than halfway to 50, which is my big goal right now. Uh, right now, we're just doing... Um... <laughs> yeah, Twitch is really strange. I, I set up Nightbot to, to do follow reminders because I feel like people just don't... People just don't remember. And that's okay. I'm not here to begrudge anyone. I just, you know, if you want to follow. Yeah, I, the reminder is there only if you want to follow. Because I also am forgetful. Extremely so. Um, right now we're doing the boring part of the game. Where I'm doing a bunch of talking to people. In order to, um... Wolf, once we now... As you. Talking to people so that I can unlock the good ending of the game so that I can fight more bosses, which is what we want. I want to fight the all the bosses. Master, I found something. Here. Here we go. Lord Takeru's coughs are worsening still. Returning to the divine realm is hopeless, and I wish only to sever the dragon's heritage and restore his humanity. Restoration requires the Ever Blossom and the Mortal Blade, and yet I cannot acquire the latter. It was hidden by the High Priest of Sinpo Temple, who has no desire to sever the immortal ties. But I have the Mortal Blade now. Purification? Yes. It says here, there is a way to cut the ties of the dragon's blood and transform its owner into a regular human being. The process requires a flower from the Ever Blossom. As I told you once before, the Ever Blossom is a Sakura tree that Lord Takeru brought here from the Divine Realm. However, someone cut a branch from the tree and stole the flowers, and the Ever Blossom eventually dried and withered away. So the Ever Blossom tree has been entirely lost. If the tree itself no longer exists, the flowers don't exist either. Correct. I will still but be going in about 30 minutes. You do whatever you need to do. Did have flowers on it. So if it could be found. Is this the branch from the Ever Blossom tree? It was in my father's possession. Master Owl. But there are no flowers on this branch. Hmm. 
What's wrong? It's nothing. I was just trying to remember back to when the Everblossom still flourished. But try as I might, mm. the memory is hazy. Uh, they're graves. What? I think I'll pay a visit to Lord Takeru and Lady Tomoe's graves. That's where the Everblossom once grew. Something might come back to me. So, so we remember. My father, the owl, had the Everblossom branch, but I need a blooming flower from the Everblossom tree, which is long dead. But, you remember the memory of Hirata Estate is in the past. So if I travel, if I, tra <laughs> if I travel to the memory, then, um, then I can go back in time and acquire the branch while it's still blooming. Which does mean that I get to fight Owl again, the best boss in the whole freaking game. The second time you fight Owl, he is not only the best boss in Sekiro, it is the best boss in every Souls game, easily. It is my favorite boss fight of all time, and it is basically the whole reason that Sekiro is my favorite game. I am so excited for the Owl boss fight. I am so excited to lose many times. This is the wrong way. It's the wrong way. <laughs> I talked up this fight a whole lot because it's the best one. Hello, a wingless monkey. It's gonna be bombastic, fantastic. It's gonna be bombastic, fantastic, iconoclastic. It's gonna be. What else rhymes with fantastic? I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm out. Help. Oh god, help. Uh, a wingless monkey! I believe I recognize you from the discords. I'm glad that you uh, finally decided to stop by. Sorry, that was a little bit passive aggressive. We're here for a good time, not a long time. I'm actually lost. You figure there are only four sides of a square castle, right? Just gonna, just gonna come on through here. Here for a good time, not a long time. That's the truth. It's the truth, honestly. It's like that woman says in uh, in Futurama: "Live fast and, and leave a pretty corpse." Why must that be the only way? Hello. Master Wolf, how long have you been there? Have you remembered anything? Uh, nothing, I'm afraid. Nothing? That's right. I'm sorry. I wasn't able to remember Yet more anything. I know. There's so many people streaming. Perhaps one of my old friends can help. There's so many people streaming. <laughs> I do not begrudge you because everyone that I have met in the discords, everyone that I have gotten to catch a stream of is a wonderful, wonderful streamer. And I... Lord cannot blame you for wanting to enjoy their streams first, or even over mine. Play the flute. I do and appreciate you showing up though, it means a lot. Under the ever blossom. It was a wonderful sight. Perhaps one of my old friends has I'm trying to figure out when I'll no one else is... At his temple. Mm -hmm. No one else that I really like is, um... Streaming? But it's really hard because there are so many people who are all streaming at such different times because they're all in different time zones and stuff. So I'm just streaming when I can and hoping that people can come through. And that's the best I got, you know? Um, today's a little bit out of the ordinary for me. I normally like to stream during the day on Sunday, but honestly... Nobody can show up during the day on Sunday, so maybe this is a better, maybe this is a better time. Who knows? Everyone is streaming some win. Someone is streaming every win. 
<laughs> you know, someone told me that we can't all uh, make a living off of streaming, and I refuse to believe that is the truth. I'm going to find a way for every single one of us to make a living off of this if we want to. Or Lord Kuro. I'm not going to let Kuro die. I won't let it happen. Hey. Oh, you're here, Master Wolf. Was the sculptor able to help? Unfortunately, no. I'm afraid we'll need to look for other clues. I'm going to confront her. One of us must die. <sighs> what did that mean? Were you listening this whole time? Tell me. Uh, I saw it. That day beneath yeah. the branches of I, the um, blossom tree. Ten year old beast, away. ten years old. Wow. <laughs> Why? She said I am um, my computer's seven years old now. The oath of the dragon's and it was a budget PC when I got it back then. Masters. So in order for the purification to occur, um, the oath bound of the dragon's heritage must die? Yes. Precisely. Forgive me. But I'll get back to you in one to second. Achieve the purification. Because I know Correct. She did not have the mortal blade. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that makes I sense. I don't want to lose Lord Kuro. I've decided that I'm having but such a good time doing this. Are leading to dead ends. And I need so desperately. Hey, Neo 2 must be really well optimized. That's great. Um, barely ish. <laughs> yeah, I've decided that I'm having such a good time doing this. And the life that my partner and I want is a life um, outside of a nine to five corporate job. We both want so desperately to, to not ever have to work for anybody ever again that I've decided to invest in this and like really put some work in. So I am in the, currently in the process of upgrading my PC so that I'll be able to do it. Um, Hey, I'm running a GTX 760 on my PC too. Lamau. Yeah. Stuff that runs like shit runs like shit for people with much better GPUs. Yeah, my computer um, duh, crashes when it runs for too long because the the hard drive it's gets overloaded when it's like writing to the disk. So one of the biggest upgrades that I really really needed was an SSD, which I did get. I use my tax return to buy as many computer parts as I can get, and uh, it's all going to come together next weekend, baby. What are you hiding? Uh, so you overheard. Tell me. Do what must be done. I will live by those words, as my master does. Here. It's time. I think I get to fight him tonight. This is so exciting. Is this a bell? It fell off Owl's dead body, if I'm not mistaken. You and Master Owl have a deep connection. Should you offer it to Buddha, it may be a different experience than the one you had before. I will try it. I am not sure what memories you will see, but the bell wow. belonged to Master Owl. So please, take care. I have yet to upgrade my PC Goodbye. even once since I got it in 2013, which I guess that's eight years now. But I'm, I'm going up to an RX 570. I'm getting an SSD and I'm doubling my RAM. So hopefully I'll be able to do shit. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. Hey, look, oh. we're back. You're supposed to be dead. Yet, yeah. you still live. Oh, the GP died. That's so tragic. I feel like I lucked out. Oh, no. I fought so many of these guys by now. You figure I'd be good at it. Oh, 
<laughs> it's true. It's true that only fire lives here now. But that's okay, because fire deserves a, a happy life as well. Stop. The reason I'm not killing the dogs is because I think they respawn infinitely. Um, yeah, it's like a motif that the shinobi in this game all, like, have one arm. Well, I guess not all of them. But I do. The sculptor does. You guys do. That's something that um, From Software likes to play around with a lot. Like in Bloodborne, there's a visual motif where everybody is wearing um, eye coverings. They're all hiding their eyes. Which isn't like... It wouldn't make sense, obviously. They wouldn't be able to see. But like everyone is doing it. I like it. I hate dogs. Stop. No! <laughs> okay. We calm down and we try again. That's all we got. That's all we can do. That's what alcohol is for. Of course, for anyone who has a healthy relationship with alcohol. I would never, ever, ever want to push my my vices on anyone else. You know what's best for you, of course. Ooh, the wombo combo. I just I never need to lock on to a wolf. I think is the correct answer. Don't ever lock on to the wolves. It's a trap. We'll get there. One fight at a time. Look, you know, you play Neo too, you get it. <laughs> I've beaten every Souls game more than once. I have never beaten Neo. That game is... It's very difficult. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. him on the defensive, and then he can't call his dog. Dude! Benissime! Stop! found Neo 1 wasn't much harder than Souls for you, even though it was harder in specific ways. The controls are, yeah, it's way more complicated. Dark Souls, once you figure out how like the timing of everything works, is pretty straightforward. You got like two buttons. Um, I was never very good at fighting games, which is the the biggest challenge I had with, with Neo, is that it's very much made by a fighting game developer. Thank you, Mushroom. That feels good. Sometimes, it just works. Oh. 
Let's do one of these. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my. Oh, are you joking? The aggro boundary actually helped the enemies instead of me for once. Okay. Okay, fellas. Folks. FOLX. I originally concocted three quarters at arcades. Fighting games are a scam they get made up by arcades to sell more quarters. Yeah, I fully agree with that. I did get really into, um... For Honor for a long time, though. I felt that was really fresh and engaging. And I got a lot of support for a while. Apparently there's a new update coming out soon, but I don't know if anyone's still playing it. At least not on PlayStation. It's a good time. It originally wasn't much of like a classic fighting game. But then everyone figured out how the game works, and then as updates went on it became more and more of a classic fighting game. Because everybody got too good at like the basic concept of it. It was originally a very, very reactive game, but now it's a very proactive game. Which means I'm a lot worse at it. <laughs> Lone Shadows are the Interior Ministry's most trusted agents. Each of leader Masa Masatsuna Oribe's 17 born has a specialty, from poison to shinobi hounds. We just fought one of those guys. With the shinobi hounds. Let's do a rest. And we'll move on. And then it's cool boss time coming up. In the near future, it's cool boss time. Okay. I simply refuse to die to easy guy on the other side. The first two? Yeah, it was really harsh. I did get past that. I think I stopped at the uh, the ice level. Yeah, the Taurus Demon... Honestly, if that boss had been anywhere other than a bridge, it would have been fine. Fighting two of these Pokemons is gonna be... It's gonna be like that. <laughs> So we spam special what we do. Dang it! Grandmaster Gamer. Like myself. <laughs> oh, thanks. Inflate my ego just to pop it like a balloon. Can I skip them? Probably cannot. Can I fight them one at a time? I probably can. That's the plan. That's fair! Ah! 
snuck up on me. Snuck up on me. He's the real gamer. This is going badly. Budly. <laughs> it's only oof. Oof. The first two bosses the first time were definitely an incredible challenge. Even for a grandmaster gamer like myself. I think I probably could have gotten through it, especially with the co-op mechanics that they've added now. And I might need to just go back and do it at some point. I think I just ran out of patience. On Ryoki again. Which one was that? Redundancy is cool, actually. I'm not worried about it. Oh, that guy! His hitbox was the whole room! Why did they do it that way? <laughs> Wasn't that the first boss? Silly. I think... I think most people who look at a game like... Dark Souls, or or Neo, or Sekiro, Bloodborne, you know, all those. Most people who look at those games and they say... Space to evade in, it's a big deal. Yeah, because like, like I was saying, the Taurus Demon, if it was anywhere other than on a bridge, it'd be a fine fight. Oh, this is going to be bad. Um... I think most people's experience with these games is they'll pop in and then the game has like a shock value hard moment right at the beginning and then it scares people off and the game gets a reputation of being too hard for normal gamers even though the rest of the game actually isn't that bad. And I kind of hate it because I want more people to play Dark Souls because I love them. Okay, I need to find a way to sneak up on that guy on the side. I think I can do it. I was watching um, Casey Explosion play Neo 2 and it looked like a hell of a time. It's got some real flashy good good in it. Who? Brig. Okay, this is gonna be bad. Okay. Okay. No poison arrows. Please. Hell yeah, it's Juzo round two, baby. I identify with Juzo, to be perfectly honest. We're good friends. I'm very scared of him now. I 
need to take care of this guy faster, please? Hell yeah. Alright, now I can fight Juzo like it ain't nothing. Like it ain't nothing, I said. I said. Sick pun, by the way. I think that's actually his story. His, uh, his backstory and flavor text. He was a uh, sumo wrestler that fell on hard times. And so he uh, became a bandit and a drunkard. Juzo, we go way back. Come on, Juzo, we go way back. Mm. Ooh, explain to me how that hit. Yeah, he's like, he's holding it like it's a stick, swinging it around like a nice little twig. But it's a good thing I'm powerful. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Huh. We're not in the clear yet. I am going to the uh, the owl boss fight has a lot of mechanics that I'm not sure you'll be able to tell what's going on on camera. So I'm going to try to tell you what makes this fight so freaking cool as we go. If my voice gets louder and more panicked, don't worry, I'm okay. <laughs> don't worry. So I don't know if y'all watch Casey Explosion's streams, but when she's playing like Neo or Dark Souls or whatever, she'll die and she'll be like, yes, that's so cool. I'm having such a good time every time she dies. And I have never experienced that feeling until this boss fight. Ooh, the delay. Ooh. I'm in danger. Yeah, I've been really enjoying the small streams where I can just, you know, do this. I am. Um Because uh, she's chill as hell and she plays good games. Why not? Not to discount. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The big, big charity streams help a lot. Yeah, I think she was always on Twitch.
Um, collaboration is like the big tip that they give you. Like collab with channels of a similar or larger size. Yeah, Owl is so cool. I love this man. So I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna let myself get killed just to show you something, I think. Uh, things are great, we're on my favorite boss fight of all time. Alright, check this out. Okay, never mind. In a sec. Mm. That. Yes! <laughs> Owl is the only boss, the only enemy in the whole game who can Mikiri counter you. The move that you have that lets you stomp on a stabbing attack he also has, and he's the only one who can do it. It's honestly so cool. Because he's your dad, and he taught you what to do. There's a move that he does that has, depending on when and where you dodge, he does three different attacks out of it. He'll do like a big wind up, and then if you dodge too early, um, it was a feint, and he he like gets out of it and he hits you. And if you dodge away from him, it was a feint, and he gets out of it and he hits you. So you have to wait until the very last second so he commits to it. It's so cool. Oh yeah, he's huge. That move. If you dodge too early, he'll faint out of it and he'll he'll uh, get you while you're rolling. Try not to do it because I want to win. And um, luckily, with the with the gauntlets and stuff, they added harder versions of every boss fight, so I'll be able to fight him again. That move he uses when he like dashes with the feathers everywhere is the final move that you learn in the shinobi skill tree. He uses your own shinobi tree because he taught you everything. Daddy! Oh baby phase 2! Yeah, he's a boss that has your moveset plus some. My bad. He uses his like owl form to like teleport around. It's so cool. Yeah, exactly. The final boss of Dark Souls 3 kind of is supposed to have your moveset, except they perfected it for this fight. I love it so much. This is the... It's just so... Oop. He'll like, force you to unlock on, and then he'll, uh... 
I'll force you to unlock on, he'll appear behind you. throws gunpowder. He throws gunpowder and then he swings his sword through it so it uh, blows up. Because one of your one of your shinobi uh, tools is firecrackers. He just does the same thing. It's so cool. And then he'll use the smoke screen to like do a soundtrack out of it. Yeah, he'll do like a fistful of gunpowder, he'll throw it in the air in an arc, and then he'll swing the sword through it to ignite it. Or the owl will ignite it, whichever. The first time you fight him, in case y'all missed it, he throws these little like smoke bombs, and if you get hit by the smoke, it prevents you from healing. And he does this little cheeky toss. It's so funny. Uh, also, he has like oh, holy crap. I'm good at it now, because the first time I played this fight, I fought him like 20 times. I got so good at this fight the first time through. I just first tried him. Yo! <laughs> Baby! I've reached final form! I'm a Sekiro god! Mm. Mm. <laughs> One who seeks purification may impart the dragon tears and these flowers to the divine heir of the divine's her the dragon's heritage, thus severing the shackles that bind the immortal bearer of dragon's blood. Baby! <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Owl took in the hungry cub on a whim and raised him as a shinobi. The process was so engrossing that he hoped they might enjoy a true battle to the death someday. He got his wish, if only in an old memory. Baby! Oh my. Oh my. That's so good. The one thing that I didn't invest in, that I'm starting to regret, is a ring light. I'm using a lamp pointing at the wall away from me. Whatever. I don't have any more money. Did you give the rice to the divine heir? Yes, he made rice. Bowls. I buy that. 
The divine heir of the dragon's heritage? He made them himself. Yes. Is it true that, um... He did? Oh, I see. He may be the divine heir. You know it. You know it. You fight him 20 times, and you but know where he's gonna be. He's still human. I mean, it's, it's always all, behind you. What am I but, saying? Like, of course he is. Big forehead sure hours. He had his doubts about severing immortality as well. Yet, even so, um, the path he chose. There is something I would like to What was I saying? Kay, is it true that the the ninja outfit of like the black cloth guard was uh was like a like a stage outfit? Um people wore all black and the audience was supposed to recognize that they were supposed to be invisible. You're not supposed to see them. And that's why ninjas in media are dressed in all black because of the theater reference where you're not supposed to be able to see them. Shinobi of the Devon you are That's a fun fact that I heard. And you seem to know what you're talking about. I apologize. The rice I shall. You've brought a persimmon. I brought a oh persimmon. My. Eat it. Yes, I will. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh my! This is. What? <laughs> so wonderfully sweet and delicious. Persimmons are truly crimson gems. Truly crimson gems. Farewell, should may the harvest be God bless. God bless. Alright. I'm just gonna make sure that I've got no more story talking to do, and then we'll move on to the Fountainhead Palace, which is the coolest level. I gave her a real persimmon. Um She's gonna ask for. She's gonna ask for the two great serpent hearts later. Stage prop holders in theater wore black to be less conspicuous behind whatever they were manipulating, for sure. So I've seen because I've seen at least some footage of modern kabuki theater plays, which seems to be run the same as they used to for tradition's sake. Yeah, I think that's where, if the source that I heard this from is accurate, I think that's where the the the, the ninja outfit in media came from. People would know they were not characters. It's really cool. It I like it a yes. lot. I was in I tech theater for a little while, and we always wore black. That you saw. Um, Sculptor, what did that Buddha show you? Were you it's a fun listening? time. Tell me. Flames. Flames. That is all I can see. It doesn't matter what offering I make. Flames spreading as far as the eye can see. Um, hello, everyone coming in. That's we just fought my favorite really boss in the whole freaking game, and now we're about to go on to the uh, the end game stuff pretty soon here. I just am doing some story chores. I hope everyone's having a wonderful night. I need this badly. If you want more forms for that fang of yours. You'll need to search for more shinobi tools. And we're talking about no shinobi from this path now. and their relation the to old kabuki theater. I got an upgraded form of the um, portable Flash. fortress an ever that power. protects yes. from fire, which There's is going to become no very relevant with an optional boss later. Please show me your face. Something has happened, I see. This will allow my lord to achieve purification. I am merely doing what must be done. I understand. I hmm. bid you good fortune in the I should make this clear in my Nightbot post, but Twitch only keeps VODs for two weeks, so all of my VODs are on my YouTube channel. As well as some skate videos that I made last, uh, last year? A little while ago? I skate. It's fun. It's a really good time. Uh, what happened to Sekiro's face? I think he's just slowly falling apart 
from the the immortality because the gray in his hair is like creeping onto his face goodbye bunraku puppet theater had the puppeteers wear black so that you weren't you were supposed to know like you're supposed to like color them out of the picture My partner's watching um, my neighbor Totoro over there and on the That's TV. On your back. And I'm feeling what like a real it? weeaboo right now. Feels good. The Mortal Blade. What? It's real. You don't suppose you could use it to end this curse of mine? I will. Of course. Thank you. Mm. A man with your skill. Could grant a merciful death. This guy is a uh, sparring partner for the whole game. He's the, the mechanic that lets you the practice the skills the of the game in a safe place, and he never Ready. dies. Um, but once you have the mortal blade and you can officially kill him, he asks you to. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking murk his ass. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill him dead. Is it a situation I should be making light of? No. What are you, the stream police? Wolf, we've finally done it. Once we make the fountainhead incense, you can infuse your clothes with the, the aroma. ethics board. Now, place all of this is not illegal ethics. This is wish. not an illegal ethical uh, infraction. Infarction? What's the word? What am I looking for? Okay. I'm trying to find out when I'm supposed to talk to the Divine Child. Because the Divine Child is going to help me. Forgive me, I'm just checking the wiki. I think I'm supposed to do all this side stuff before I go to the Fountainhead Pal- Oh, that's right! She moves. They don't always follow the same lines. That's true. My engineering classes taught me that's how we got the Apollo 11 explosion. Is it the 11? Did I just misremember? Was it 13? Whichever one was an ethical disaster. I don't want to lose them. But if I were to choose the path of returning the dragon's heritage, it may come to pass that I would have to leave all of you. Thank you for your kind words. <laughs> My friends, listen, he is actually quite kind. He gave me this. Damn straight I'm quite kind. Oh, Shinobi of the Divine Air. I didn't hear you come in. It is thanks to you that I've been able to have a deep conversation with my friends. With the children of the Rejuvenating Waters? Yes. There is something I would like to discuss. I believe Tell we me. should aim not to sever the dragon's heritage, but instead... To return it to its rightful place. Return the dragon's blood? That's right. The dragon's heritage was set free from its homeland, and it drifted here to Japan. Its power was never meant for this land. Until something is done, 
It will continue to corrupt the lives of those who encounter it. We can the use heritage, the dragon's heritage responsibly. To it. it is only right that they return home to the west. It was a series of decisions of that were made However, ultimately because problem. the funding sure of the project was perhaps the high priest of Senpo Temple. Or yeah, it was a series of decisions made ultimately to give, like, NASA wanted to keep funding. It wasn't ready to launch. It was... The budget wasn't big enough for it, so they were ordering parts from the cheapest, like, the lowest bidder. So they were getting shitty parts. From the lowest bidder, you seek out the, high the, uh, the Apollo explosion, I'll think about it. the the rocket ship that blew up and killed like was it three astronauts? I don't remember. Yeah, so they were their budget was too small and they were running out of time, so they had already delayed. They were the rocket was built from cheap parts from shitty companies because it was cheap. And then um, NASA couldn't delay it again because they would lose funding if they did. And then the engineers ultimately didn't have a whole lot of power when their bosses were like, launch it anyway. Yeah, it exploded in midair. It was brutal. So like, it was cheap parts from shitty manufacturers because the budget was very small. It was rushed because they had to get it out on a deadline because they had already delayed it and they were going to lose their funding. And then the engineers who reported the problem were silenced by the management because, um, was it the Challenger then? I don't remember. There was a rocket that exploded. The engineers that reported the problem were silenced by management. It might be the Challenger. Because management wanted to... Um, basically keep the money coming in. That's my bad. Um, forgive me, everyone. <laughs> it was the challenger. Shinobi, should you wish to return the dragon's head, his reverence is confined within the narrow cave. Right. You're right. My, um, in my professional development class when I was in college, because I had to take a class called professional development and it was just as useless as it sounds. Um, in my professional development class, we had to do a project on ethics and I did a project on the um, Flint water crisis. Different high priest. Which is ongoing, by the way. Flint, Michigan, still does not have potable water. For the record. Sir. Yeah, Obama was like, I ate a flake of lead paint once. Yeah, that one. Um, that's my understanding. Yeah, they're just living there with unsafe water. Um, and there are just really high rates of, um, like, is it lead poisoning that causes cancer or... I don't remember. It's just basically a bad time.
Yeah, I mean, I live in Texas. You don't want to talk about loads of people who are suffering right now and no one's doing anything. Brain damage and other issues. Yikes. Sacred passage on a path to enlightenment. Undying, I pray for the dragon's return. Undying, lo, let us wait an age for the divine heir to assimilate the cold dragon tears, for the cradle to consume the pair of serpentine fruits. Let the cradle endure, giving him shelter, granting his return to the west. Yeah. I just assume everything causes cancer. Um... I'm one of those, I'm one of those big brain geniuses. I'm one of those big brain geniuses that just picks up a shitload of facts all over the place and then only remembers like the first half of them. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Fact check everything that I tell you. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if y'all are hearing about what's going on in Texas. Um, we're all still under a boil water notice here in Austin. I know San Antonio is as well. And, um, the power was out in most of the state for the entirety of last week. And there was a bill passed just before or at the very beginning of all of this happening that allowed energy companies to pass the cost of fuel onto the consumer. So people who had electricity during the week are getting like $16,000 electricity bills. That is the highest number that I've seen. There's one person who owes $16,000 in Texas just because he had a heater and lights on during the ice storms. Because it is legal for energy companies in Texas to pass the cost of fuel on to uh, customers. So they are, they are making a shitload of money from a state emergency. I mean, Ted Cruz is our state senator, so uh, that's the kind of animal that would pass a bill like that. <laughs> um, we, we currently, we turned off our auto pay for our utilities, but we can't access that information until like later in the month. So I'm hoping that our bill is still low. We lost power for a day and a half. Um, yeah, Ted Cruz just fucking, just fucking bounced to Cancun. And like, I have no love for politicians. Do not get me wrong, but there's definitely a spectrum of goodness to badness. On badness, there's Ted Cruz bouncing to Cancun on goodness there's AOC, a senator from another state, coming down to Houston during the crisis to help people. Like, oh, don't blame your fat fingers. Just got excited. It's okay. The picture of the dog in the window in his house when the, all the lights are out and it's breezing everywhere is so sad. Ted Cruz is cruel and conniving. Um, I don't believe the, that stupidity really exists, but he is either, he is either intentionally oblivious or he's either intentionally oblivious or just a malicious liar or some blend of both yeah he's a horrible principal horrible person with no principles and no spine only career and donors yeah he's making a shitload of money off those butter guys shinobi of the divine air have you perhaps i'm all for making fun of people of but i know a lot of people who struggle Mr. with um the high priest was infested how could this come to be I do not like. know. However, you left this note 
I will take a look. And a lot of people who struggle with I the idea of being fat or being stupid. And I know that those aren't real. A for the divine heir. This will make it there, it's not a real like to return the thing, dragon's heritage you know? to its homeland. I, I shall I be I'll get into it maybe someday. I don't I don't have the energy right now. <laughs> Yeah, most all Republicans are lying. I am the only um, all Republicans are lying to make that money. Like it's a grift. The they they just go up there and, and they do what the lobbies say, the and then the lobbies be like, then bring me "I'll get you elected again," the and then they get elected again. Where should I begin? I believe it is said that the liver of a great serpent is slain. I do think there's a certain amount of indoctrination. That can allow people to be, yes, um, like intentionally or at l maybe sometimes accidentally oblivious. Like I know, um, I know white Christianity. I, I want to specify like white American Christianity um, because there are good and cool Christians out there. I'm not an anti-theist by any means. But like that kind of like brainwashing behavior, I was raised in a in a white suburban church, right? That kind of brainwashing behavior really fucks you up as a person. Yeah, I mean, there's also those people who truly believe that the weak should die for the strong, and it's like. Motherfucker, let me show you what the weak are capable of when there's millions of us. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> um, anywho, you guys all seem pretty politically engaged. Uh, if you want to join me in reading a basic anarchist uh, theory, I'm currently reading Anarchy Works by... <laughs> Oh, oh, that's so sad. I'm currently reading Anarchy Works by Peter Gelderloos, and once my PC is up and running, I want to put together um, like a casual book club discussion over a round of golf with your friends. If anybody wants to join the Discord and read along, you can play with me, you can talk with me, and we'll stream it. Um, we can strong people. Yeah, exactly. It's where you're born. It's who you're born to. Absolutely. Yeah, and then there's the people who are born into a lucky situation and then truly believe, or at least say they believe, that they worked their asses off to get there. And then everybody else um, just doesn't deserve anything because they weren't... They weren't strong enough. Or whatever. And that's just, that's frankly disgusting. It's frankly disgusting. I think there is a real, there's a real blind spot though, with like, with privilege. It took me a long time, obviously. I look very much like a cishet white dude. Um, I am non-binary, but I do present mostly masculine, so it's not like people know. So I still get treated with the same kind of privileges that like a white man would. Um, and there's a real blind spot, you know? Like, if you can't, if you haven't been poor, if you haven't been a, a victim of racism, systemic racism, if you haven't been a victim of, like, systemic queerphobia or fatphobia or whatever, then sometimes you just don't fucking know. And I was such a shit heel in college because I didn't fucking knew. I didn't fucking know. But now I do. I'm fighting really hard to keep the black pill out of my mouth. <laughs> I believe a better world is possible and I believe that we are on track to get there it will be a struggle to do so and I'm going to do what I can in the meantime to get us there oh. Goodbye. and honestly Yeah, looks can be extremely deceiving. Um, 
big shout out. I don't suffer from dysphoria. Um, I've been feeling a little bit more gender euphoria recently because I've been painting my nails and I've got this nice ear cuff that I really love. I haven't been able to pierce it because of COVID, but I've got nothing but respect for um, trans people early on in the, the, a, the, the HRT treatment. Um, because you're going to be a beautiful, beautiful butterfly at the other end of it. And I'm not saying that you're not beautiful now, but I know that like it's really hard to look at a mirror and believe that you are. So I, I my whole heart goes out to you. It's all going to be okay. And yeah, Mushroom, I do believe it. I really do. Um... Thank you so much, CQ2019. Uh, Follow. Put me up at 27. Getting closer to 50 every single day. I was working on my... Um... <laughs> I'm not strong. I just hang out with a good crowd. Stick with me and, and we'll... Uh... Stick with me and, and we'll cultivate uh, a group here where, where we can bring a lot of positivity into it. Because someone brings up a really good point. Um, Damer Sophie brings up a really good point. I doom scroll on Twitter all the time. I fully understand. Twitter is the most black pilling website in the whole world, but there's an upside. Twitter is a machine designed to boost hot takes or shocking content, right? That's what the machine is for. If you go there, you see only bad things, and you believe the whole world is bad, you're falling for it. Because the tweets that aren't going to do well, or the things that aren't going to get tweeted, is the good news. Which does exist. During the Texas ice storms, there are restaurants giving away free food, there are restaurants giving away free water, there are people sheltering other people's pets. There are people opening up their homes to strangers. There is good shit happening all the time, but it's not going to get tweeted. It's not going to get reported because these platforms are designed for scary, shocking content. So really, if you want the good news, if you want to fight off the black pill, you have to look in your community, like right where you are. And that's where you'll find the good news. Not on Twitter. Twitter is a bad place. I spend a lot of time on Twitter. <laughs> Seem to have slowed down back to disinterest in it as I came out of the deepest part of your depression. Exactly, yes. Doom scrolling on Twitter and deep depression go hand in hand. It is an addiction. It literally is. It's, um... It's a very, very scary place to be for a lot of people. Uh, including myself. Twitter fucking sucks, homie. Oh boy. We've got an essay written by Kay Kamara. It's less the fact of people having a religion but more so the religion's power structures that are the problem. People can interpret the faith in many ways, and I believe in reforming religion to allow a more individual, less strict or rigid interpretation that ultimately leads to helping people. Yes. Um, meant to post this ages ago. <laughs> I get it. Spelling sucks. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, in, in the book I'm reading right now, Anarchy Works, um, they're talking about there was a, a Catholic workers' union who took Christian text and they used that as like the central point of what they organize around and they fought on anarchist principles to like help their community and make a difference in the world through radical politics all based on Christian teachings. Like Christianity isn't inherently a problem because of the way that religious texts work. They can be read in a lot of different ways and there's a lot of good shit that you can get out of the Bible. It's really just the, it's the white supremacist, southern, southern, like, Baptist Christians who are fucking, um, 
ruining things with with an ideology it's it's neoliberalism it's capitalism that has infected poisoned uh, and changed Christianity in that way not that it wasn't kind of always that way because like or Orthodox Catholicism has a history of like theocratic fascism essentially but but you get it. Like, ideology bleeds into your religion, and the power structure then is used to enforce that ideology. But, like, a horizontal power structure can be used to turn Christianity or other religions like it into a beautiful thing. I'm feeling incredibly alone and alienated, isolated and doomed. I fully understand. Um, yeah, I'm really glad that you're on antidepressants now. Good for you. Um, yeah, also good for you for not having a Twitter. That's basically as good as having antidepressants. I kid, obviously. Antidepressants are a hell of a drug. Get them if you need them. Um, I'm, I'm currently, I just spent a whole lot of money on streaming equipment because it's the only thing that's getting me excited right now. <laughs> Work sucks. But um, once I make that money back, I need to go see an ADHD specialist and talk about what I can do to improve my life as well. Hey, I'm glad. I hope that I can be one of those small streamers that, that helps because really that's, that's what I wanted to do. I want to reach out to people in a better way because I, I, at first I found a lot of community on Twitter and then it turned into a dark dark place but twitch has been really really great um, especially the lgbtqia plus twitch it's been a beautiful place and that's why I, I put that tag up there i want people to come and find a safe spot to be uh and that's also the reason that i i come down on on words like stupid and fat in my chat because i want to start now to cultivate a safe space for everybody what am I doing? This is what I'm doing. Yeah, reading on Tears uh, stream was really, really fun, and I'm really glad that I got to do it. Um, I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to again, because I do normally work a job. This last week I didn't because of the ice storms. But, um, but I'm going to try to listen in at work. Um, I love that. Yes, I gotta talk to her because of the serpent persimmons. This is true. However, you have to like take a break and go do something else because she's doing My a thing Lord. and she told you to come Wolf, back later. The mortal blade. <clears throat> Fear not. I will only make a shallow cut. Yeah, that kind of stream is getting me to read a lot of uh, yes, more advanced political theory that I Close normally wouldn't be able to do yes. because ADHD brain sucks for for that. But it really helps. The The group discussion, is especially, just being so inclusive for everyone who wants to participate is really nice. I don't normally read theory either, but I really want to because I think it's important. I want to be... I want to be well, influential in my community and I want to make sure that I'm doing it in the right way. The aroma so I think theory is really important for that. Palace. To draw on Those like past inspiration to build a better Fountainhead future. Palace. It's just as Lord but you can get a lot of theory out of like YouTube that and Twitch even. Or just final, working a job. You how understand how good communism is. <laughs> is scented bridal offering that was written on the altar where the fragrant stone was placed. Yes. You now carry the aroma of the Fountainhead Incense. I believe the path leading to the Fountainhead Palace will open before you if you go to the shrine within the cave. Immortality shall soon be severed. I'm counting on you. Yeah. As you wish. Came to the conclusions via just reading about history and how difficult cultures worked and stuff. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing that I'm really enjoying about the book that Tyr is reading and the book that I'm reading right now is they use a lot of historical examples that I didn't hear, I wasn't taught in my history classes because they go against the capitalist realist story, right? I can understand that. 
a lot of leftist YouTubers are still focusing on introductory uh, theory, which is useful. Which is useful, but maybe not so much once you know. Once you you know some of that introductory stuff. And infighting, yeah, I'm. Like I understand, like the ideological differences that are discussed are sometimes important ideological differences, but like you're not gonna have a productive discussion oh. over Twitter Shinobi, or like YouTube drama. Are you, you know? There? And I don't. Your eyes. I don't super care for celebrity politics. <laughs> of the divine air. Like this isn't a subtweet at anyone. I understand that people are doing what's best for them, and yeah. like celebrities are, are making a living just like anybody else. Especially since we're talking about really, really small scale. Um, oh, I'm not talking about anybody in particular. Oh, I will, I will absolutely call out fucking, um, sorry, I'm getting into the drama now. No, but I think this is important actually. I'll absolutely call out Peter Coffin, Angie Speaks, and their circle, because they are isolating, they are um, repeating fascist talking points, talking with fascists, and that's just... No, no, no. Little drama is little drama, but, but Peter Coffin and Angie Speaks are doing bad things, especially as especially with the rise of fascism in the United States. Like, now is not the time to be even a little bit sympathetic towards fascist thought. Not at all. Like, not that it ever is, but, like, especially now. Come on, read the fucking room. <laughs> um, um. Having Kuro drink both the Dragon Tears and the Frozen Tears, the cradling ritual can be performed. Cold Dragon Tears are just that. Frozen Tears. Yeah. Does this mean? Yes. Like I'm not gonna subtweet anyone who maybe has a bad take or whatever. But I'm gonna call out people who are in my community, you know, my online community, who are doing active harm, and they are doing active harm. Kuro will be able to rest within the cradle. Which, it was, it was really painful at first, because I got a lot out of um, Peter Coffin's videos for a long time. Um, I learned a lot about Society of the Spectacle, I learned a lot about Manufactured Consent, I learned a lot about Malthusianism, I learned a lot about, like, these things that are important, but definitely can be covered by someone else. We are losing people to their ways of thinking, yeah. We should absolutely be drawn drawn in by people, and that's why I want to, like... That's why I want to call it out. Because what they're doing is they're spreading hate. And ultimately... I know a lot of people have, like, ideological disagreements about this all the time, but what social... Like, to me, a core part of socialism is actually caring about the people in your community. Like, even just a little bit. You can't just hate everyone. You can't. You cannot do it. You're not going to build a, society, a better society if you just hate everybody. So I just want to... just want to spread love, baby. Yeah, exactly. Like, for a while I was like, okay, let's see the nuance of this. Let's... let's take their good takes and, like, let's reject their bad takes. I don't think we should throw them out as people. But then, absolutely. Um, people started, you know, people will unfollow you if you're attached to them for good reason. Um, for good reason, because they, they follow and they associate with transphobes, fascists, and the like. So, like, yeah, I cannot blame anyone who would unfollow me if I was still connected to them in any way. Which is why I am no longer. Um, and that isolation is is exactly that isolation is exactly um, like Innuendo Studios has a really good video on this. 
they drive that wedge in your community. And then if you feel like you're stuck on this side now and you can't go back, that's how the fascists get you. That's how they get you. They'll drive a wedge in your community and they hope that you're stuck in on their side. Um, and then if you get stuck in on their side, you can't go back. You've been ostracized. Peter Coffin has been doing a lot of defending um, the Nazi Bolsheviks, the Nazbols. Self-titled. I didn't call them that. They called themselves that. They're, they're red-brown uh, alliances, which is like a historical trend. People will use communist rhetoric, but then they'll ally with fascists and they'll use it to do harm. Um, and then they've been defending a lot of They've been defending a lot of transphobes as well on Twitter who are doing a lot of harm in the community. And like, I, I get the desire to reach out to right-wingers because ultimately a lot of right-wingers, especially in the United States, have been propagandized to the point where they just can't tell the difference and they are potential allies, but that should never come before defending the people who are most at risk. We should always be defending the trans community. We should always be defending uh, gay, lesbian, bi, non-binary, uh, asexual, pansexual, plural, mentally um, learning disabled, fat people. We should, people of color, it should never reach out to a white reactionary over defending an oppressed minority. Never. Um, managed to keep my feet on either side. Yeah, I was a small, I was a small Twitter platform at the time, so no one really dropped me. Yeah, so when I left them, it didn't hurt me at all. I agree. Yeah, they're Nazis with socialist economics, which can't be socialist. Exactly. I think, I think the political compass has done a lot of harm. Like, it's just caused a lot of, where am I going? <laughs> This is where I'm going. No, it's not. This is where I'm going. <laughs> it's done a lot of harm. Because, um, exactly, you can't allow people to suffer for str supposed strategic advantage. Because who's even to say that it is a strategic advantage? Wouldn't it make more sense to reach out to the people who have been hurt the most? Because there's a lot of them. And they understand oppression better than white dudes do. I would rather reach out to a trans person or a person of color or, you know, any oppressed minority. This is the wrong place. <laughs> I would rather reach out to them before I reached out to any right winger, even if the right winger is just oblivious and propagandized, because ultimately the minority, the person who has experienced oppression in a very real way, is going to make a better ally. They are going to understand better. Yeah, that's another thing. Peter Coffin platformed um, Milo again after he lost all of his all after he lost all of his support. Which I don't know if it actually material led materially led to an increase in Milo's platform, but still, why are you fucking with that? Why are you even talking to a fascist? I thought we had been over this. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I just want to be nice to people. I just want people to be nice to me. That's what I want. I want a society of friends. Like Erico Malatesta said. A society of free people. A society of friends. It's called anarchy. Yeah, so the, the Nazbols were actually platforming him, and then Peter was like, I can reach his audience. And like, no you can't. <laughs> I mean, maybe you can, but is it worth, is it worth in inviting that? Who are the Mythcon people? I don't know who they are. Also, can we get a shout out for Rope Dude and Wooden Dick? 
Rope dude and giant log peen? I love my rope boy. Oh. It fucking died. Some drama inviting internet chuds to their atheism convention? Yeah. The usual left-right spectrum that is simple enough that at least gives a base level of explanation of the politics of whatever you're talking about, but the compass is not simple enough or specific enough to be helpful. Yes. I fell into the trap of using the compass. I used the compass to try to get people to understand that the communism I want is not the, the communism they've seen or heard about. That's why I used the compass. But then I realized that that's just giving a bad definition and there's gotta be a better way. Because like, because like authoritarian and libertarian and economically left and economically right, it's both about ownership, right? It's both about ownership. So if you're looking at, if you're looking at libertarian right is the obvious one. Libertarian right can't be libertarian because if there's private property that creates a, a vertical power structure just by through wealth accumulation. So it's a state by another name. So it's not libertarian at all. And then authoritarian left is the same way. If it's the, if it's the state party that owns the private property, then it just creates a vertical power structure because they own private property. They own things. They own the means of life, as Eriko Malatesta called it. Um, so, like, ultimately, there is no such thing as authoritarian left. It's just right. It's just authoritarian right by another name. And there's no such thing as libertarian right. It's just authoritarian right by another name. There's left and right. And that's it. It's about ownership. I'm gonna fight this one boss and then I'm gonna call it. But this has been a beautiful fucking time. Please keep chatting. Um, also, I've been talking about it, but everyone who's not in my society of friends, our society of friends, I don't wanna say my, I'm not a propertarian. Um, come join our Discord. It's really small right now, we're hanging out. Um, I would like to start talking more about the book that I'm reading. I'd like to talk about the games that I'm playing. I'd like to talk about what my celebration stream should be when I hit 50 followers. Um, if y'all want to come hang out with us, we're having a good time. And Tears in there hanging out too. I know we all love Tears. Um, viewers from the last time yeah it's like politics for fun exactly it's like politics but you don't actually give a shit about it um this is the boss that i fought in ghost form in uh the previous game for anyone who's here then they do have a physical form as well and I absolutely adore this boss's design. It's so fucking cool. I'm having a wonderful time. I'm really glad that y'all uh, showed out today. Of course, we ain't done yet. I gotta beat this kid boss. I gotta beat this kid boss. Um, I'm gonna be back again tomorrow night at the same time, I believe, to play more Sekiro. And if anyone wants to, um, I'm going to try to get my buddies who have been reading along with me to join in the chat, and we can talk about energy work. I've got some quotations and things that I'd love to discuss. Um, I'm doing poorly. Holy. Oh. The little laugh. So good. I love her with my whole heart. Flowy material movement. Ooh. You're gonna 
have to um, define what shielding is for me. I'm, I'm afraid that's a hole in my knowledge. Hey, Wings Monkey, welcome to this work. I'm really glad to have you. Um, I'll add you. Uh, I'll, I'll let you have permissions in, in just a second. Fight this. This view. Oops. Oh. It's supposed to be self isolating. Since January? For COVID reasons? Oh, okay. Are you, uh, immunocompromised? I'm really sorry to hear. It must have been very difficult here. Oh, yeah. Is the UK fully... <laughs> is the UK fully opening up schools and stuff? I know Texas is, and I'm really worried about it coming on in the future. She's a teacher, and she's almost 65. Hell yeah, centipede! Centipedes um, are like the ugly immortality. They're like the corrupted version of the immortality that everybody wants. Ooh. No, 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 no. If you need to go into shielding, get the fuck out of work because that is. That is famous. Cleaner at school? Nice. I do machine maintenance in a lab. I've been working with COVID samples for months now. I haven't caught it yet. Yeah, we looked this up in a previous stream. Apparently they are, uh, it's like a motif. So the centipedes provide immortality by just like being inside people. It's really gross. I can't handle bugs. I've got a thing. I know that's like a really common thing to have, but I've got a bug thing. You get it. You understand. Yeah, okay, if you need to. Ooh, the variants. Can't wear a mask. Hell yeah. Killed that centipede. Yeah, if you need to go into like full quarantine, don't worry about me. You've been a lovely friend to have here, but take care of yourself first. I did not know roses were associated with death in Japan. Our attack power. The corrupted monk was among the infested. Standing over the Fountainhead Palace, indeed, immortality would seem a fitting quality for eternal watcher of the palace. Her true name is Priestess Yao. Check it out, check it out, check it out. The Fountainhead Palace is gorgeous. Gorgeous, darling. <laughs> really butch gay men's magazines, I believe. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Be gay, be associated with death. It's a good thing. Alright. Um, let's see. Y'all watch, um, y'all watch Lottie on Twitch? I'll probably raid Lottie. Um, thanks for coming, Mushroom, and Wingless Monkey, and Kay. Y'all have been a delightful conversation. Um, Lottie is a trans VTuber. <laughs> yeah, you watched my whole stream. Welcome aboard. 
She's a trans VTuber who plays uh, a lot of games. But we're going to go say hi to her. Thanks again for coming all. I'll check in with you guys uh, in the Discord. And I'll be streaming tomorrow, same time, same game. Goodbye. I love you. Goodbye.